So I get asked this question a lot, especially from people who don't live in Niagara and are maybe considering moving to the Niagara region. They always ask, where is Thorold, Ontario? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Thorold, where it's located, talk about a little bit of history, some real estate, and what exactly is going on in Thorold and why I think it's a great opportunity not only to invest in Thorold, Ontario, but also a great place to live if you're thinking of moving here. So you wanna see more, stick around, and we're gonna get into the video. What's up, guys? I'm Andrew Kulikowski. Only days away from summertime. I remember riding my bike up and down this path. There's a reason why homes in this neighborhood sell so fast. Going to Tim Hortons, our local high school. If you're serious about location and you love to entertain, are you ready? Let me show you why. What's going on guys? My name is Andrew Kulikowski. I'm a local realtor with eXp Realty and born and raised right here in beautiful Niagara region. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, if you haven't already noticed, my channel is all about what it's like living in Niagara from work, play, eating, and literally everything else in between. So if you're watching this video and you're from out of town and you're maybe thinking about making a move or planning on making a move, I help hundreds of people year over year make their move to the Niagara region. So if that person is you, make sure you reach out to me directly. I'd be happy to help you. You're welcome to call, text, email, snail mail, whatever works for you, but make sure you reach out to me directly. I would love to hear from you. So where is Thorold, Ontario? Well, Thorold, Ontario is actually centrally located smack dab in the central part of the Niagara region, right on the escarpment. It borders Niagara Falls, St. Catharines, Welland, and Font Hill, Pelham. Thorold is actually a really big area. It's 83 square kilometers, which is equivalent to 8,300 hectares of land. And because of that, naturally, Thorold has a lot of land still left that is being developed or can be developed. Thorold is actually in a super convenient location. You're only 10 minutes literally from Niagara Falls, Welland, Font Hill, Pelham, and really a five minute drive to St. Catharines. So because of this, you're close to all the major amenities within a short drive. Now Thorold's population is 24,000 residents or just under 24,000 people. It's got its own city hall, it has its own mayor, it has its own fire department, which a lot of people don't realize that is, it is its own city. Now Thorold's history dates back to the early 1800s in the time of the War of 1812. So Thorold naturally has a lot of history in the area. Some of the historical sites in Thorold include the DQ House, Chestnut Hall, St. John's Schoolhouse, Maplehurst, Welland Mills, and the Old Fire Hall, just to name a few. There are two big parks within the Thorold boundaries as well. You have Short Hills, which is on the west end of the city, closest to the Pelham border. And the second one is Lake Gibson Conservation Park. Now in Thorold, you also have a large mix of different types of homes and real estate. Downtown core, you're gonna notice a lot of older uh, pre-war or wartime type bungalows, a lot of multi-residential in the downtown area as well. Obviously a lot of older commercial buildings. Uh, and then moving out, you've got homes in the areas of the 50s, 60s, and 70s throughout Thorold. And then as you go into closer towards the South End or Confederation Heights area, you're gonna get construction that started in the early 90s to this day. Now in those areas, specifically more in the South End of Thorold, you're gonna notice that there's a lot more development happening in those areas. You've got big developers like Empire Homes that have bought large areas of land there that are currently developing closer to the border of Niagara Falls and Welland. The average house price in Thorold is 620,000, which is pretty much on par with the St. Catharines market. Also too, just to highlight, a lot of investors really target the Thorold area. Number one is because of, obviously you have Brock University just on the border of Thorold and St. Catharines as well. You're very close to Niagara College. So there are a lot of investors that purchase and buy rental properties in the Thorold area that are exclusive to student rentals. And there are pockets within Thorold that have a higher student population with different various rentals. Also in Thorold is the Thorold Tunnel, which is the main connection between St. Catharines, Thorold, and Niagara Falls. Uh, it obviously runs underneath the Welland Canal, which is an extremely busy waterway. Also located in Thorold, in the Thorold South area, closer to Niagara Falls, is the Thorold Jail, which is a maximum short-term penitentiary. Uh, it houses approximately 250 inmates. 
According to TripAdvisor, the top five attractions or things to do in Thorold, the Lock 7 viewing complex, which is basically a viewing complex. You can, you can go there and actually view ships going through the lock. The Short Hill Provincial Park, St. John's Conservation Park, Merrittville Speedway, and the Lake Gibson Conservation Park. So many residents who live in Thorold also choose to just drive into St. Catharines if they have to do any other shopping because it is super close, which makes it also convenient for a lot of students because of public transit. It's really get easy to get into St. Catharines, which also is great for students that go to either Niagara College or Brock University. To sum up this video, there's four main reasons why you should consider living in Thorold. Number one is the central location. It's easy to get to anywhere within the Niagara region. The second one is it's a really safe place to live. And according to Area Vibes, it's rated an A+. And number three, you've got lots of choice for various types of homes and real estate there. And number four, with population growth and development taking place in Thorold, it's a great place as an investor to make sure you put it on your radar. All right, guys, that sums up my video on Thorold. If you have any questions, comments, I always encourage you, make sure you reach out. And remember, if you've liked anything from this video, please make sure to hit like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post up similar videos just like this one. But thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys all on the next video.